Hello and welcome to episode 7 of Vanilla Super Flat Survival. And the reason I'm in my game menu is because I just discovered uh, an Enderman that somehow was able to teleport onto my property. I don't know if this has anything to do with my mob grinder, however, I'm going to kill it. And I decided to film it because this is going to be my first Enderman killed in this session. Uh, well, in this let's play, and uh, Enderman can be quite dangerous. Uh, well, good thing that he didn't grief up any of my area. Oh, we gotta make sure that he doesn't despawn. We got an ender pearl. That is really, really great. That's a very um, useful resource. It's going to be useful for um, teleporting and stuff. I was about to say that it's going to be useful for. Um, I was going to say that I was go. I was going to say that it's going to be useful for finding a stronghold, but then I remembered that uh, the super flat world doesn't actually have a stronghold. So yeah. Um, so I finally finished my huge mob grinder, and here it is. It's an amazing huge mob grinder. I built it with three levels of spawning platforms. Uh, I also built up this nice ladder. I collected a bunch of trees. Oh crap, I shouldn't have looked the other way. Anyway, so, uh, I collected uh, some wood from my farm. Um, I mined a bunch more cobble. I, uh... I built up my grinder, but for some reason this grinder isn't really getting the rates that I was expecting. I don't really know if this is a glitch or something, because uh, practically all of the other mob grinders were getting like really amazing rates for me. They were just mobs falling non-stop. Uh, but this one seems really slow. I don't know why that is, because I actually... This is a larger version of my original mob grinder, which has uh, only one uh, floor of, or like one level of spawning platforms. However, I designed this mob grinder with three levels of spawning platforms. And yet, there's barely any mobs spawning, which uh, kind of concerns me. Well, one reason it could be that on a super flat world, there's more areas where mobs can spawn. Um... I actually don't know why there's so little mob spawning. As you can see, I'm in hard, difficulty hard, so I'm, I'm not playing on peaceful or anything. Uh, but I don't really see any mob spawning. Well, there's one skeleton there, I guess. Uh, but I'm still kind of concerned with the amount of uh, drops I get from this grinder, which uh, it is a bit worrying. So uh, I might someday build a second grinder because I was thinking that maybe because I made it a three story grinder, maybe that's why it's slower. Maybe I should have just made it. Uh, my original one-story grinder. However, it really is not getting the rates I was expecting to, and there's barely any mobs falling down. It's just empty, you know. Um, I guess that to get more um, drops, I'll have to kind of, like, AFK. Uh, and someday when I get iron from iron golems, I'm going to put um, four hoppers here and then some chests, so this will be a fully automatic grinder, but... Uh, since I don't have any iron or hoppers right now, I will have to deal with uh, the fact that I'm going to have to manually collect it. And I'm going to have to manually collect the drops every five or so minutes to make sure that most of them don't despawn. Um, but seriously, it, this is so weird. I, I really think this might be a glitch or something because... Um, when I built one of these grinders in uh, 1.9 and 1.10, I was surprised why they weren't really giving me really good rates. So, well, I thought, oh, well, I guess they changed the mob spawning uh, AI in 1.9 and 1.10. But for some reason, this is happening to every single version of Minecraft I play in. Um, if you have any uh, explanation to why mob grinder, this mob grinder is kind of empty... Uh, or, so, or so, I guess. Well, I guess my um, my repre my representation is kind of well. That kind of scared me. Um, I guess my representation of um, mob grinder rates is kind of skewed since I always build these type of mob grinders in Skyblock. Um, and obviously in Skyblock, I do get much better rates since um, in Skyblock, basically all of the spawns in the huge area just go inside this one spawner. Uh, and one thing that was making it get such bad rates is it was nighttime and all the spawns were going out onto the fields over there. Uh, but now that it's daytime, I expect these rates to go up. As you see, uh, already about two creepers have fallen down, so um, we'll just leave it to run like that. So what I was planning to do in this episode is I was actually planning to find another village. Uh, looks like I am going to have to have more uh, wood 
Yeah, I don't know what happened to my wood. Maybe it's in the chest or uh, well, we got we we don't really have that much wood, so uh, yeah, I would I would expect to go and get some wood. Um, so inside my general chest, I'm going to have no more than one stack of uh, each mob drop. So uh, I'm going to put some um, some of my mob drops here, and then when I get more than a stack of the mob drops here, this is just to make sure because sometimes I need mob drops and crafting recipes just so I have them on hand. Uh, but when I get more and more mob drops, I'm going to start putting them inside the semi bulk mob drops here, um, and then when that and then when um, and then when this chest fills up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, hopefully, if I do get really good rates on another grinder that I build, because I am planning to build more mob build more mob grinders, because uh, I really do need the rotten flesh for trading with the, with the villagers, because uh, rotten flesh is a very is a great commodity because I can trade rotten flesh with priest villagers for emeralds, which are very useful because with emeralds then I can buy uh, resources like glass and redstone, glowstone, just rare resources and enchanted books and enchanted um, armor and stuff like that, uh, and just tools from blacksmith that I can't otherwise uh, um, obtain. So I am going to have to build another grinder, but that is in the future when I buy some redstone from village and I'm going to build a huge redstone mob grinder, hopefully, uh, and hopefully that's going to have much better rates than that one. Um, anyway, like I said, uh, while it's still daytime, I better get moving and start um, going for the next village. Um, oh yes, and also here's one thing, I think now that we have string and arrows, we can finally craft a bow. Uh, let me see if I do remember the crafting recipe well. Yep, I remember the crafting recipe like uh, like a charm. Uh, so let me see. Um, I guess I'm going to have. I guess I'm going to have to. Uh, yes, this is how I usually carry. I usually carry my attack items on the first slots because they're most important. My arrows on top, no more than a stack. Some uh, some cobblestone here. Um, uh, torches are going to be right over here. Um, I'll just put away the ladders because I don't really need them for the time being. Uh, I think that I'll put away the cobble and I'll take some dirt instead because... Uh, yes, I'll have to go and get some more dirt somewhere from here. Oh yes, uh, this is where my dirt is. So I'm basically going to use dirt once again for uh, matching out like the areas where I'm going to go. Uh, so I should kind of hurry up because daytime's ending, so... Um, so I think what I'm going to do is, uh, yes, I could use more carrots, so definitely could use more carrots, because I only have 11 baked potatoes, so I'll just collect all that, uh, great, okay, I can already hear some mobs falling down, let's hope, oh, that's actually not bad, not bad at all, yes, like I said before, we are getting much better rates during the daytime than during the nighttime just because of how spawnages work and physics in minecraft work so uh, so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to oh it's midday right now so yeah um, let me just leave that here i could really use the arrows right now because um i only have 17 arrows so yeah now the spawns are really going it's kind of sad to go away but uh, i have to that's weird that shouldn't have happened, that's a glitch. So far, no slimes have actually spawned, so I guess we have been very successful. Uh, one thing that I actually have to do is I have to build an outhouse somewhere so I can exit my, um... Um... So I can exit my settlement. Uh, let me just craft some... Let me just put that right here. Uh, I should craft some stairs, uh... Just going to craft just a bit of stairs here. Uh, take that stair as well. Um, stone shovel here, uh, and then I'm going to dig down a tunnel like I did before. It's going to be all the way down to bedrock, hopefully. Uh, yes, we're down to bedrock. So uh, just place it down like that. Some more stairs, and there we go. And then I'm going to. Um, go out somewhere like five blocks or so and then that's where i'm going to go back up uh, this is just made to escape the slimes because sometimes when there's a lot of slimes here i do have to escape them so let's see one one two three four five one two three four five one one 
two, three, four, five. This seems like far enough, so I'm gonna go back up. Um, okay, I, w I won't. I won't bother making a staircase because I just wanna um, find a village. So just keep on running, and um, hopefully in the far future. Well, maybe in the near future, uh, in some far away episode. I think what I might do is I might build a huge transit system within. Uh, several villages uh, around the area uh, that's going to connect some of my iron farms I'm gonna have several uh, villager trading outposts just areas like that um, so I'm going to look behind just to make sure that I can see the um, so I can see the block behind there so like I said before I want to make a large transit system in this area uh, that's going to be comprised of a rapid transit system uh, with boat canals Wow, that grinder does sure look epic from far away. That's huge. Um, and the view up there is just amazing, especially when it's nighttime, when you can see all the village being lit up, um, and the mob spawning underneath, and uh, and the spider eyes glowing red in the dark. And looks like we already have a village. That's fairly close. I could just, I could just barely see the grinder. I think I could still... No, I can't see the grind anymore, but um, still, that's fairly close by. Like I said before, I want to build... I want to build, like, a transit system that goes from village to village. And I'm going to have a transit... My main transit center will be located at my main base. And I'm going to expand my uh, fencing area, and I'm going to have these, like, bays from which... Uh, a boat rapid transit system uh, extends from there. Uh, wow, there's looks like to be a blacksmith's chest there. I really hope that's the original um, village that we were at. Have we ever been at this village? Looks like we haven't. Let's just check the blacksmith's chest. Yeah, that's not gonna work out. Nope. Nope. That's, that's really a pity that all of them got... Okay... Okay, I can't get through, it's too, uh, thin, okay. Looks like we have never been here, and we have gotten a gold ingot, which is quite nice. And, uh, the iron armor is definitely great for when we go to the nether, we do need, um, and, um, uh, iron tools, and just basically stuff like that. There's also one thing that I do when I come to a village, I usually collect their, I usually collect their, let's hope that doesn't burn up in the lava, yes, we got iron bars. I use those iron bars as, um, windows. Uh, yeah, looks like we find we found this village once again. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Let's run away from this village before more vi villagers die, so. Yeah, I'm going to go further here. Uh, I'm basically searching for more villages for more loot, because hopefully I can find more obsidian, maybe diamonds from a blacksmith chest. Um, and of course, I'm searching for new villages, because I want to find the original village where we actually... Um, originally died, and the next village that I find, I'm not going to go further, I'm going to go back, I'm going to go and find two villages in each direction, I might also start going diagonally if I don't find the village that I'm looking for, um, and also one thing that I uh, hope to do is I hope to protect some of the villagers from, like, zombie attacks, because eventually I'm going to need the villagers for iron farms and trading purposes, so uh, I'm just going to um, come to the villagers to trade, and I'm only going to come to the villagers to trade during the daytime, because if I go to the villagers during the nighttime, what's going to happen is the zombies are going to attack the villagers, but if the villagers aren't actually loaded into the chunks, the villagers won't be attacked by the zombies because they won't simply be loaded into the game. Um, of course, this wouldn't work on servers, but um, this is just a precaution to make sure that I keep the villagers alive. And if I do have to build, uh, if I do eventually build um, an iron farm, I will, or like a, a trading uh, center around my base, I'm going to have to bring some villagers from a faraway village because I don't have enough gold to cure a zombie villager, and it's just easier to take some villagers from uh, from. And, uh, like, from a village that already exists. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. That is not gonna happen. Yup, dead. Oh, crap, there's another one. Okay.
Okay. Why are there so many darn creepers here? Yeah, I better run away from here before uh, nighttime falls. I wonder if that one's gonna explode or not. Nope. I don't think... Did I find... I don't see any blacksmith's chest. I don't see a blacksmith here. Um, yeah, so anyway, let me just run back. Yeah, wow, running takes quite a bit of uh, hunger, huh? Especially when I'm running and jumping at the same time. So anyway, I would say that this uh, village searching trip was quite successful because because um, we did find some gold which we have never found before. What I think I'm going to do with the gold is I think I'm going to make a clock, but I don't really know if we do need a clock or um, because that requires one gold to make a clock. So yeah, um, I mean we do we sure definitely can't. Oh yes, no, we actually can't make a clock because we need uh, three gold for that. Oh, one, one creeper actually exploded, so that's weird. Like I said before, the most, or one thought that I had is that the most important thing that we got from this villager uh, searching trip is that we found healthy villagers willing to trade with us, and we also were able to find, um, we're also able to find armor, um, iron armor which is useful for going to the nether and I'm also planning and it's also great that we found a blacksmith in this village because I need more um, I need more lava to make uh, more obsidian so I can cast uh, a nether portal um, some of you are probably not aware of this but if any of you have played uh, either skylock or any survival map or super flat survival you probably know that the best way to actually uh, make a nether portal in that kind of uh, environment is to simply um, cast one. So to cast a nether portal, one does not actually have to have a diamond, a diamond pickaxe, or one doesn't even have to mine any obsidian. All you have to do is you just have to create a little mold, and then you just go block by block. Um, and since I already have some... Okay, gotta eat fast before the creepers get me, so yeah, anyway... Um, so like I said before, one does not actually have to have any, um, one does not actually have to have a diamond pickaxe to make another portal, and, um, if I actually do find a diamond pickaxe, or I'm able to buy one from a villager, that's great, I will be able to, um, cast obsidian and then mine it, but that's not necessary, I, I, all I need for a nether portal is to just 10 lava, uh, Okay. No. No. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, let's just hope they miss. Oh, one of them actually has an enchanted... Okay, what should I do? Should I eat? Should I, should I kill them? Or should I eat? just eat? Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna eat some. And then just run away because I wasn't able to run because my uh, hunger dropped to three. Um, so anyway, so finally I've arrived back to our base. Let's see if we have any uh, collectible uh, loot that we got today. Oh yeah, I have to cover this hole up or otherwise I'm gonna have some mobs get going here. Um, yeah, I'll build an outhouse there sometime. So I'll probably also extend it. So yeah, I like these underground uh, tunnels to my base. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Well, let me just regen once more. Um, I don't know if I should search for villagers off camera. That's just something that uh, is at the same time. It is kind of boring to watch me go through villages, but I guess it's more fun than watching me mine cobblestone or just uh, manage my inventory here. So I'm not really sure what you guys think of it. Um, so I'll put this around the area with the rare items. Um, some more string right here. Uh, yeah, I guess this was quite a short episode, but uh, I think I'm going to end it right now because um, I have kind of, well, I've really, I have um, achieved what I wanted to in this episode. I said that we were going to go explore some villages, and we did already explore two villages. Um, so, yeah, I guess, uh, 
next episode we'll explore more villages and uh, and eventually what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do this off camera but I'm going to take two of my buckets uh, and tomorrow I think when when the sunrise or by the time the sun rises I'm going to go run to the um, closest village over there and then from there I'm going to grab two of the um, um, I'm going to grab two uh, two lava from there, from the blacksmith there. I'm going to basically have like a lava pit where I store all of the lava. And eventually when I get enough lava, I'm going to make another portal. And I'm actually going to cast another portal. And I'm going to do that on camera because um, I want to show you how to make another portal from uh, from scratch. From, from just having lava and water. Um, and yeah, and also I don't have... I will have to have an additional piece of uh, lava because uh, since I don't have a flint and steel and since I don't have any iron, uh, how am I going to light the portal? Well, that is a very great question. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some lava and then place a bunch of um, wool around it or or like wooden planks. And then eventually the lava is going to light the wooden planks and then the wooden planks are going to light the nether portal. That's how you light a nether portal without having flint and steel. Uh, so anyway, I, I hope that you found this Let's Play interesting. Um, this is my Kralix. I expect more videos soon. I will post more. Um, I'm, I've been very active a while, and I uh, expect more videos soon. And next episode, expect the next episode to be very soon as well. Uh, I love playing Super Flat Survival. I just love doing it. I'm going to film the next episode right after I end this one. So... Uh, this was my Kralix. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And uh, I'm out.